What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with another review. As you can see, we got another Nike box. I've been going Nike crazy, as you've probably seen thus far. Uh, obviously this is a Jordan 1 box though, so it's a little different. Uh, Nike brand Jordan, same old junk. This is obviously All-Star Weekend, so you've got all these All-Star colorways coming out. These are the Jordan 1 in, let's see what colorway they put on the box here, black metallic silver. So. Yeah, size 10 and a half, my size as always. I like to go a little bit down on the ones depending on the material. Uh, 10 and a half is usually right to my toe uh, or a little bit of room, so that's where I like to keep it. All right, so let's get back into this review. As you can see here on the camera, because I'm looking at the, uh, the video as I'm doing this, you can see the iridescent shine or shimmer to the entire toe box area and heel portion and heel counter area of the sneaker. Very, very clean. Um, early on pictures, I was like, oh, okay, it's a nice little color. I wasn't sure the way that they were taking the pictures, if it was one color, if it was like whatever. I didn't know that it was this iridescent. The shine makes it a little bit more poppy and definitely in person, super, super dope. As you can see me rolling off here in dark areas, like you can see now in the toe box, it looks like it's a black or whatever it is. And as you roll it into the light, you can see the iridescent shimmer to it. Very clean, very dope. I wish they could have used a little bit better material on the shoe, but it is what it is. This is Nike we're talking about. They're not going for anything but what they want anyway uh, get right into it you obviously got a mid panel on here in white your grommet areas in black leather or Nike leather as I like to call it because I don't know what kind of material they're using uh, <laughs> you got your shimmer on your toe box you got your iridescent on your your monochrome on the heel portion or the ankle the ankle portion in the upper area and the lower area and the ankle counter rolling around into the medial side which you can see down here so i'll turn this one over if you like looking at the other side everything is inverse to be exactly the same you got your black swoosh white underlay and your black grommet area again the other special thing about the shoe is that uh the outsole is kind of dope you got this iridescent fish scaly kind of shimmer to the mid portion or the center portion of the outsole and then you have a icy finish to the upper portion it's more of like a yellow and that also i don't know if it's catching the color of the iridescent underneath or if there's iridescent inside of the ice because even as i turn it on the side i can still see it i don't know if you guys can see it but i can still see it right in the portions here which is kind of super dope uh i don't know how long it's going to take for this to yellow but i feel like it might be quick but regardless it's still a super fire shoe um, very well executed the other nice attachment or add-on that they did to the shoe were the aglets the aglets are also like in this iridescent gradient so it starts at a green and ends at a bluish purple very very fire they came with extra laces that don't I don't know oh they do have it so the extra laces are white which they might actually end up going inside their shoe just to break it up a little bit more and they also have the iridescent gradient going across the the uh, the aglet on the lace very very fire tongue is as follows you got your little Nylon area towards the upper portion of a black tongue with it looks like a gray Nike Air across the top portion, which is nice on the monochrome. Overall, very well executed. Um, I mean, it's Jordan, so comfort is, you know, going to be obsolete when it comes to that. You don't wear Jordans all day long. I mean, if you do, kudos to you, but especially ones, if you got a flat foot or high instep, it doesn't even make a difference. It's not the most comfortable shoe after like three or four hours. So obviously you're going for more of a stylistic look than you are a comfort look when you're wearing these. But regardless, they pulled off a very new colorway and dope colorway at the same time. I know everybody's waiting for Royals, but that will be what it will be anyway i'm getting out of here if you guys like the review shoot me a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments you'd like to make obviously the comment section is the place to do that anything else you'd want to see reviewed you see me post up whatever it is just shoot me there i'll get back to you as always and uh i'm out of here peace